Hello my wonderful Ultra family, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to Ultraman Explained. This video is going to be another Ultra Theory video, and if you're curious as to what Ultra Theory is, it is where we discuss all the possible theories and explanations that surround the Ultraman universe that aren't exactly explained or filled in. I'll be trying to explain some of these mysterious questions out there with all the research I have done on the various theories out there and some of my own. So without further delay, let's get to it. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a question that I have often wondered since I started watching the Ultraman series and I realized that there were Ultraman children. And that is, how do Ultraman reproduce? Now this may sound funny to some of you because it's funny to me, but it's a question that's been kind of boggling my mind since I first really got into Ultraman. I started watching Ultraman and noticed there was a whole bunch of them and I thought, oh okay, there's there's a whole planet full of these people, that's, that's, that's neat. And then I seen the movie that came out, Ultra Galaxy Legend, where there was a bunch of little Ultra children running around and that, you know, Ultraman Taro was training all these kids at the academy and whatnot and kind of got me thinking, I was like, wait a second, how exactly do Ultraman reproduce? They don't have any... What's it called in the area down there? I mean, they literally have nothing. And what they're wearing aren't suits. It's their skin. The colorful bodies, it's, 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 it's their, part, partly their skin. That, that, that thing on the back that people call the fin, it's not a zipper that they can just zip themselves out of like the real suit actor does. It's actually just a fin that's part of their body. So again, since it's pretty clear the Ultraman don't have any genitalia, how are they reproducing? A lot of dry humping, bumping and grinding, weird friction through genetic manipulation, in vitro fetalization, or are they asexual like worms? They just create them out of themselves. This is something that has confused me for a long time because obviously there is ultra pairings. I mean, we have ultra mother and ultra father who obviously had children, right? Of which we know of because they're now great heroes in the Ultraman universe. But the question is, when that special night came that those Ultra Children were created, what exactly did Ultra Mother and Ultra Father do to make that happen when they don't have any junk? What? So the only thing that I can really come to is a few theories. Okay, I have done some research. As strange as this is, yes, I actually had to research how Ultraman have sex. I really am scared for the day that my search history on my computer is released. Anywho, um, and what I found is a mixture of a few different answers. Um, I was really given like two or three is the best answer. As we know, the Ultra species used to be like us until their sun burned out. Then they got and created the Plasma Spark, which when activated pretty much bleached their entire planet, turning everything to an emerald in structure all the buildings, everything into this emerald looking material and turning them into the Ultraman, making them a ascended being upon what their previous human-like counterparts were. I assume, and as do others, when they were their human counterparts, they had junk. But obviously we know when they become ascended beings as Ultraman, there is no junk. So the only things that the three answers that I could find were the three theories that are the most believable that I'll be sharing with you today are that Ultraman are asexual, that Ultraman use in vitro fetalization, or three, they have children via genetic manipulation. Now the first one, that Ultraman are asexual. To my younger audience who might not know what that means, that means that a single entity, as in a worm or, say for this instance, an Ultraman, could have a child on its own. So basically, it would have the egg inside its body and be able to fertilize said egg without the need of sex and then give birth to said child. Okay? So, in essence, that would make every Ultraman capable of spawning its own child, whether it be male or female. The problem I have with that theory is then it defeats the purpose for having male and female Ultraman. Unless that is something just left over from when they were originally changed from their more human-like counterpart, which could also be true. Or, number two, 
in vertro fetalization. Because they don't have any dangly parts, as it were, the Ultra Woman could still possess said egg instead of her body and could take the seed from said man and implant it inside of the woman with the technology, the advanced technology, obviously the Ultraman have, and thus create a child, and then she would give birth to said child, and the child would grow up. Which is also, it's, it sounds plausible. That to me sounds kind of plausible. However, what I lean towards is, number three, genetic manipulation. So my theory is, and the one that I read online to be the most common, is that what Ultramen do, the only reason there is male and female Ultramen and women, is because it is left over from when the plasma spark converted them from their more human forms into the altered higher being that they are now. Now, male Ultramen will pair up with female Ultramen for obviously the purpose of having children and out of love. Now, what they will do because of advanced technology would be obtain DNA from both Ultra beings, the male and the female, and then basically via a test tube grow a child a baby, or whatever, until it's maturity, until it is ready to then be raised by the parents. In fact, believe it or not, there's actually cases where this might actually be happening in our world today. There's word that China has actually created the world's first, technically as it's called, test tube baby. So technically, all of the Ultraman we know of might be the products of test tube babies. There's also kind of the theory that technically no new Ultraman are ever born or created. They're all just left over from when everybody was turned into ascended beings, into the Ultra Beings. The children were left as children, and the Ultra Beings were left as Ultra Beings at whatever age they were when they were switched. That's why we have Ultramen and Ultra Women that are so old, 35,000 years old, 55,000 years old, and things like that. Because technically they've been alive possibly since the plasma spark was initiated and changed their species. To be honest with you, I am not entirely sure what I believe. I think honestly genetic modification is probably the truest and probably the most plausible answer to how Ultramen breed. Um, but I will leave the finer details as, as to what you think up to you. Uh, why don't you put in the comments below how you think Ultramen breed, whether you think it's, you know, asexually or, you know, via test tube babies or in vitro fertilization or just a hell of a lot of dry humping. Whatever you think, put it in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, that'll about wrap up this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button down below so that I know I'm doing something right. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can join the Ultra family today and be notified every time a new video comes out. Anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching this video, your faith in my channel, and you all have a wonderful day.